G'day crew, my name is Luke from Aquatic Rehab and um, this video is just a showcase of some local sharks here in Auckland. I'd had some reports of guys that were going out spearfishing off uh, Tiari Point and um, they were getting hounded a wee bit by the local bronze whaler population. So yeah, when I heard that I thought might as well get the big camera out there and uh, basically just try to get some photo and some video of these sharks. So yeah, called up my mate Neil. Uh, we shot up there uh, late Arvo, getting into the evening uh, as the tide got into high, so we had a bit of a um, nice bit of water to dive in. So yeah, as soon as we got to the outer rocks there, um, a few hundred meters offshore, uh, we had a bronze whaler coming right underneath us without doing nothing, no, no pulling the trigger or anything like that. Um, no fish, no burly. And then I uh, swam over to our float boat. We had sharks coming up sort of uh, vertically and um, sort of nosing the float boat and then swimming back down. So that behavior is um, quite learned because obviously the sharks can get fish off floats and things like that. So yeah, that spot there has to be one of the most popular spearfishing shore dive spots um, in the country, I'm guessing, because of the, the population of Auckland, obviously. And um, those sharks that are sort of hanging around that area, um, I sort of liken that to, you know, birds down at the local park or feral cats hanging out at the back of a butchery or something like that. They've basically sort of learned um, that they can scavenge a feed there and um, yeah the ocean's a hungry place so why not? So yeah the sharks sort of realized pretty quickly that we didn't really have any food on us and then um, they sort of started to leave us alone um, after about half an hour. So Neil goes down and um, he'd just shoot the odd blue mau mau and sort of bust them open and, um, and create a bit of um, fish burly and that in the water with a small fish and uh, straight away they're back in there on that. So um, we used that to our advantage just to get some photo and some videos and stuff like that. That may be controversial, but however, if we're going out there spearfishing anyway, we're cubing around sharks and we're um, shooting fish around them that they're coming in and trying to take and stuff like that. So I don't really see that as uh, much of a deal um, in comparison to the normal hunting that we're doing. But yeah, I mean, it's not like sharks are uncommon um, along the New Zealand coastline and um, not really surprising to me at all. But um, yeah, maybe like your ocean goers, like swimmers and, and servers and stuff like that don't realize how many are actually out there. And um, you know, we're probably seeing a good six to sometimes to over 12 a dive um, up here in the heat of summer. Generally pretty good, but if you start shooting big kingfish and stuff around them, um, they can get pretty rocked up and can hype each other up and come in for a feed. It does appear that the populations are growing. I'm not sure if they're going back to a normal level before um, shark fisheries were in New Zealand or if there's something else going on there and they're just doing really well. But um, we're definitely seeing a lot more and this season we've been seeing a lot more sharks quite a lot earlier than normal. Yeah, couldn't tell you what's going on there, if the water's uh, warmer than normal or not or if it's just a population thing. But um, yeah, last season we did see uh, some quite good schools of juvenile sharks, um, upwards of 40 sharks. So. Um, they seem to be doing pretty well at the moment. So if you're out spearfishing, kingfish and stuff like that, I recommend to have a guard and a shooter and you can reverse roles if you want and just make sure that you guys are working as a team for land fish rather than just uh, having a bit of a free for all because um, if you get over three or four sharks, uh, big bronzies, they can pre get pretty riled up and they can just leave the fish alone and start trying to charge you on the surface and uh, all sorts of fun behavior that we've got on film before. So sweet, if you're heading out, uh, take it easy. And if you get some pics and videos and stuff like that, feel free to send them through to us. Cheers.